Maximilian Kiefer has had a, a great couple of days. Oh, raffled home for a par. Of course, he's up a couple of shots, but he still leads the way at six under par. Jordan Smith, a former champion. Yes, in uh, 2017 he won. This is the eighth par three. Boom, straight in. Birdie there, he moved to minus five. And the man out in front hails from Scotland. It is David Law. What an outward nine he had. This for Eagle at 18. And he went out in eight under par. Sensational scoring from him. It is a par of 38, though, on that uh, back nine. We are playing to a par of 73 overall with six par fives. That for Law was a birdie at number seven, his 16th hole. And Law moving to the top of the field at seven under par. But problems for him at the eight. The hole that caught out Max Kiefer. A bogey four there, I'm afraid, just uh, moments ago. Still eight under for his round, but drops back alongside Kiefer in a share of the lead at six under par. Christian Crowe Johannesson has a birdie putt at the fifth. It's a very unusual layout, isn't it, if you're joining us for the first time here at uh, Green Eagle. Six par fives, five par threes. That's looking good and is for the Norwegian. Now, Jordan Smith, see if he can finish off with a par. This is for a round of 71, which is two under par this week. Yes, well, hold. So he'll go into the third round at five under par. That's currently one behind. Bjork for outside chance, has to be said, for a, a three here. <coughs> and he's made it. What a par, that is. Par, par, birdie star. Beautiful stuff. To the eighth, Johannesson for his birdie to move to within three. Oh, it was never anywhere else, was it? Fast putt from there as well. Pretty good scoring with a double bogey thrown in there. The hole that Nick Backham's having. Uh, this very much needed birdie for Backham at five. It is Dom. He was all smiles, walking up on the green. He's taking it on the chin nicely. Oh, isn't that lovely? Well done. So it seems 73 yards to go. Nice to attack him. Got to be careful. Don't want to be too far right of this pin. It's a big old slope there. Big old tear runs from front to back. Knocked it in low, didn't he? Now the check. Yeah, stunning. Absolutely. I'm going to give him that. He loves him, doesn't he, Mark? You didn't think about getting the putter out then. I, I wasn't put in that situation, but when he pulled it out, I thought, "This, yeah, this is this is basically all that. he's got." Yeah, because um, you know, oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> nice putt there from Marcel. Very consistent player. Um, the Fortinet stats confirming what we've been talking about. This par five, yes, par five ninth. It's the hardest hole on the course here at Green Eagle today. I'm still struggling with that one, strangely enough. It's just two nudges, a couple of woods up there, a little pitch shot. Yeah, I mean, I reckon that Olison, I, I mean, he must have had it. There you go. There you have it. He called it, didn't he? Beauty right there. Perfect drive from Marcel Seams, left him 211 yards down the breeze, off the right, and the pin today on 27, just where it starts to get narrow on this green. If it was from right to left, it's like he went for the easy seven. Oh, that'll be good. Well, he asked it to be good, and it was. It's an excellent shot from Seam. Well, John, you no doubt you've had your eyes on this one. Yeah, a little double breaker coming our way. It's just going to slingshot a little bit off the collar from left to right and then come back from right to left near the end. Up the hill. Look at that. Oh, John Morgan, you can read really touch. I got lucky, Foxy. No, I got lucky. That was excellent. 
And on. Go on. Oh. Now that was unlucky. Took a little bobble. Oh, Nari having trouble down this tenth hole. This is his fourth shot. Quite a good short game, isn't it? He'd be very happy there, won't he? Again, a little bit fortunate with the tee shot. Pitched in the bunker, on the, in the fairway bunker. Came out, splashed out, nice lie on the fairway. Got it up on the green side, in the bunker. Again, and just hit it that little bit thick. A little bit too much sand underneath the ball. It's, tough, it's a tough stretch coming your way now. So, let's be a nice little bit of a cushion coming into the latter holes. Quite bent over. Ian posture. Strong spine angle. Putter hanging down, and yes, please. There you go. That gets the crowd going, and that gets him going, and that's what we need. Julian Broom has reached the uh, ninth hole of par five. This is his third. Quite a ways back as well, 160 yards. Cracking shot, wasn't it, from a really good ball striker. Yeah, he had quite a nice view there of how thick this sand is, how pebbly, I want to say pebbly, it's just like a fine marble, crushed marble. You see the ball releasing, you're not going to get it checking around the hole. And you play for that release, you know, you have your practice rounds, you get used to the feel of the sand. Now let's go to Bjork with a birdie putt at 14. Looks good, it is good. Birdie try for Andrew Wilson. 16 down the hill. Yes, well done. You mentioned on that uh, Sudal open performance, and I have to say, he hit some wonderful shots. Hollison, just no more than a wedge. A little easy one at that, but you know, you slightly take too much off it, you can pull across it. <laughs> That'll do. I told you he was good from that range. 16th, third shot, 116 yards for Loughton. And wind mostly behind, helping a little bit. Very flat portion of the green, so you're looking to attack. Yeah, really good and a great spot to putt from as well. But Loughton can get himself to two under par. Well, here it is, Mark. He's almost going to land it in the fringe grass here, which he did get in. Oh, oh it's a cracker! Oh. Just could see, couldn't you, from that camera oh. angle behind you? Thought, oh, that's got a great chance. I just, I like the way he plays the short game shots. I like the way he stands posturally for a big fella. Just the layup, from Bjork. Behind one of the champions' tree. Oh, sorry, third shot there, but behind the latest champions' tree. Get in! Oh. What a shot, what a lovely way to finish. To the cut because four over is now in right now. So he's looking all right oh, now, so he's at four over par. Or will he make it? Oh, you beauty. But the beauty of that for Adrian House is not only does he make the cut, I think he's probably got himself another hour and a half in bed in the morning. I think you're right. Back at the 14th. Short par three, shortish, shortish, it's close, shortest hole on the course, 148 this is playing. Go on. He's good at those sort of length, isn't he? You see, you don't feel the pressure on that length. You're not expecting to hold it. He's going to have to come down a little bit steep on the putter. It might bubble a little bit. It's going to sling out to the left-hand side, but once it gets to the tier, it's going to break to the right and gather some serious momentum down the hill. That's where the pin is. He's done all his homework. Problem is, when you drop the putter on the back of the ball, you get extra top spin, and it's very quick. Accelerating now. Oh, keep turning. Oh, God. That is what they've come to see. Now we get the famous scene celebrations. 
How good is that? Finish. Oh, he is special, isn't he? He is a great entertainer, John. Oh, he's one of the best. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.